means so the comes using the TSB enterprise service bus so that enterprise service bus is nothing but so it is a middleware or we can it is a called as a broker in between in between these two applications so that enterprise service bus follows service oriented architecture principles and it will going to allows you to communicate different applications to talk to each other and it's group it together and talk to each other so the enterprise service bus will give some flexibility and it will provide some of the like you know, protocols to talk to like you know, allows to talk to each other other applications okay so that enterprise service bus have some of the functionality like routing enrichment and the transformations and it will going to provide adapters okay so it will follow some soap over http protocols it will follow like you know http protocols and soap over jms protocols and also its service service bus will give message enrichments means message enrichments means based on the messages so that a request will going to route to the next system and transformations like if you want to interacting with two different applications those two different applications will have different format of data let's assume we have xml data we have json data so these are the two different formats we have a csv and we have database backend it is like a database will understand query formatted data like in statements sql statements right here we are getting like you know xml data how we are going to integrate xml and database so we need to exchanging or we need to transform the data from one format to another format that is nothing but a transformation the enterprise service bus itself it's going to provide these functionality transformations and routing routing is nothing but if you want to route one request to another means another system suppose i'm getting like an ftp i want to route that request to the some database i want to request to this disk local disk i want to like store the data into the database means we are going to have some routing technology we have in enterprise service bus in not only in delbomi so this concept will be applicable for any other middleware tools okay so whenever like suppose let's assume what is the advantage of enterprise service bus is nothing but suppose let's assume we have salesforce system and we have other end is we have database we have other and some other applications let's assume database system or salesforce system whatever it is one other end is like a dynamic crm so when i like dynamic crm is like a down then what will happen enterprise service bus knows so when the service is down immediately the enterprise service bus let other systems like that particular system will go down please wait to come up or like you no know, please wait to until up that services so until until so we are going to hold that remaining systems we are going to store those request somewhere in middleware so like each system will know for other systems so when our like any uh like uh, any issues happen for other systems that is advantage of like an enterprise service means it is a loosely coupled so we are not going to interacting directly like it is not going to like means like uh, we are not tightly coupled in using like an enterprise service bus so every system is individual okay here the broker is like an enterprise service bus it is only allows it is a communication it is a communicating or it is a communicator or it is a broker or it is a middleware whatever it is we can call it is it is simply allows you to up integrating different applications using some principles that is called soa principles okay see here most popular coding languages in like in c++ like in ruby and javascript and python like in java and php like so so this is a way right so each organization like within organization we have number of applications so let's take uh, banking systems so in banking systems are within a single project we have couple of like 20 application like 20 different technologies they are going to use so as i am working as a banking uh, sector 
okay in the qs banking so here in my uh, case in my project only we are using like almost like 20 application like 20 applications we are using with different tools like we are using like mule we are using iid ibm integration design we are using dpm we are using database and we are going to use obi for reporting purpose we are using etl for extraction and transformation loading and we are using like spring boot so we have a lot of tools we will be there but so within a single project but here the middleware is required to integrating to different application we are integrating bpm to like database in between we are using like mule mule esp and also we have delbomi also will be there for targeted architecture for like we are going to like you know, overcome like existing legacy system that is like ibm integration designer so those uh, integrations we are migrating to like uh, delbomi set so this is a way we are going to use in like uh, real time scenarios so here it is like integration bus as we discussed right we have sap systems yeah and we have integration bus other systems we have hl7 like it is a different format hl7 is a different format it is a rest aps it is a different format so it will understand so far like an xml ftp so it may be like in flat files it may be xml whatever it is other side we are using like dot net dot net understand like so it is a different language and also like capabilities of esb so the transformations and enrichment and validations purpose also so before going to like next changing the information to the next system so we are going to validate those incoming request so whether the request is like invalid uh, proper like in proper format or not suppose we are getting json data so how we are going to validate so against json schema we are going to validate whether the json schema is like in json is like in formatted correctly or not splitting and merging means suppose if you want to the same message if you want to send it to multiple target endpoint suppose the same message we are going to send it to database we are going to send it to uh, our crm systems or it may be like other system like in jms systems so we can this split the single message into multiple targets at the same time so multiple targets are sending different applications like different message if you want to like combine those messages and we are going to send it to the different application then we are going to merge so we have some other split and merge so in mule we are going to like scatter gather so that is option will be there split and merge in delbomi we are going to use data process shape we are going to use for splitting merging so means different different tools are using like in different concepts I know about like in PA. So what are the like activities they're going to use for splitting and merging? And security purpose, like security means, so internally they're going to provide like an you know, OAuth securities, like an API key security, verify API key, like an API controlled uh, security they're going to use. Means you are going to secure your like an applications before going to interacting with third party systems or like an external system. So that ESB will going to provide. So why we need to use Delbomi? So what is the like you now uh, advantage or like, what is the source especially in Delbomi when comparing with like uh, other technologies like in Mule ESB or any SAP PA? So here the Delbomi um, mostly like we need to require like less coding. So it means 98% is not required like in coding. Means less coding is required. So everything we can manage using like in you know, configurations. So we need to remember configurations is enough. So whenever like we are going to think outside of the box. So we need to go for like Groovy script or like in you know, a JavaScript or we can use like in you know, Java as well. So less okay. coding is it is a lightweight. And the second one is so it will be available on on premises and cloud. So on premises means Delboom is an ESB. So I'm not uh, 
uh, stress that point why because uh, Delbo is like an IPaaS integration platform as a service. It is kind of like an ESB technology, but so that is entire platform will be available as a service in the cloud. Okay, that is like an Delbo IPaaS integration platform as a service. Yeah. Okay, so the entire platform they are going to provide as a service. So we have only required only uh, internet and over the browser like a browser like we are going to access that services platform and so it will be available on cloud and on premises means the development platform like what is the platform as a service right that platform is available on the cloud but whatever the servers are available on the cloud as well as on premises right? so only we are not going to install this designer tool like an SAP PPI not we are not going to install in our local system okay okay so that platform is available on cloud, but the servers we need to install. We have to install in local system if you want, whether Linux or like Windows servers. At the same time, so we need to choose in cloud. Means like we need to choose. Uh, we can opt like in where we are going to install. Like if you want to install like in Amazon, we can choose that Amazon space where we are going to install. And if you want to choose like an IBM Cloud or Oracle, whatever it is. You can install anywhere in on cloud. So based on your architecture design, like you are going to install. Okay, it means it is available on cloud and on premises. So Delbumi will take care about those maintenance. Just we need to purchase. So here in Delbumi, just that is the advantage of like it is cloud, on cloud, and on premises and it is less coding required when comparing with other technologies and less development means less development time when we are going to comparing with other muli sdr any other technologies and also delbumi will provide esp as well as api management so api management and esb is a different concept so esb when compare when comes with like an esb so where we are going to integrating with two different applications Okay, so wherever we are going to develop a process in Delbumi, that process will be available for only those applications, like you know, different applications. But it's not going to expose your services to third party systems. Okay, so the Delbumi API management will come the same process if you want to expose to third party systems, like uh, let's assume like we have an HDFC bank they're going to expose their services like a check balance to third party systems. So we are going to check balance by using Google Pay. We can use check balance by using GPay. We can using the same check balance option in IPay. How that same service available for in third party systems like Google Pay, like HiPay, PhonePay, right? So that is like APIs comes into this picture. Maybe they're going to use develop like a Spring APIs or like you know, Delbumi APIs or Mule APIs, whatever it is. But ultimately, so that API will comes under, comes into this picture. So when ESB, it is only restricted between these multiple applications only. That service available only for restricted applications and front end application and back end applications. So we're not going to expose as a standard format to the outside of the world. So that is like an ESB and API management. So that the Delbumi will provide ESB as well as API management. So we're not going for like an opter for any other third party tools to develop this API management. So API management means, so once you develop your APIs using Delbumi, we are not going to manage those APIs using third party.